this is how to take the Madison pattern and turn it into a little dress. It's gonna be tunic length. It's gonna be about the length of the Franny Baby dress. Um, certainly not as full as Franny Baby, but it's gonna be that length. Great to pair with some shorts or some bloomers. You can see here, I've got some bloomers that actually don't have the elastic in them, but I'm just gonna show you how sweet that will be with just the little bloomers underneath that match this up here at the top. So that's our goal today, just to show you how to cut um, this bottom length, and then you can use your other um, Madison instructions to continue with the rest of the outfit. Now, um, I've mentioned this in the, in the sew along already. Um, you can make this according to the pattern instructions if you would like, and that will give you an unlined um, little top. Um, if you wanna do it fully lined like this one is, you'll have to follow along and make your pattern changes now and then go over to the other um, PDF blog post for making the bubble, and we will go through all the changes to make to the top and how to add the lining, that kind of thing. I really like it lined. Um, I think it's just really nice. It gives it a good body, but anyway. Um, so what you need, first of all, for shortening this is to get your pattern pieces and trace a copy. You need a, a traced copy of your front bodice or your front romper piece and your back romper piece. We're gonna do one at a time. I will also say that I mentioned this in the other video, but the Madison pattern has a pattern correction for the 18 month size. And before you any, do any other changes to um, your pattern, if you're making 18 months, you need to go ahead and either look at the other video or read the instructions for how to do those corrections first. Once you've done that, or if you're doing any other size, you can follow along with me here. Um, on the instructions that are on the PDF, you were gonna see on number two, this is after you have everything traced. Um, you're gonna see <clears throat> that it says, use the chart below to measure down from the neck edge, which is this edge right up here. And this is my center line, so the neck is gonna be up in this area. Measure down, according to this chart, the amount. And so I've got a 12 month here, so I'm measuring down 12 and 3 quarters inches. So, got my ruler here, and I've measured down, just put a little mark there. Now, um, if you have some kind of grid you can lay this out on, it makes it a little bit easier um, as far as lining everything up straight. But you need this next line to be perpendicular to your fold line. So that means like a right angle, just like this. So you are now gonna use that mark that you just made and draw a line all the way across the pattern. Now this doesn't look like we're taking very much off, but realize that there is a hem that we're also dealing with here. So. Um, Anyway, so we are making it a good bit shorter than it would otherwise be. So once you've got that straight line across there, go ahead and cut. Make this first cut here just along this line. The next thing we need to do is create a little bit of a curve on the bottom of this. If we didn't, the side of the dress would almost look like it came to a point. It's much nicer if this is a little bit of a curved edge. So. First thing you need to do, and these are in the instructions, is measure up three quarter of an, of an inch on this outside, the side seam edge, and just make a little mark. So, got that right here. The next thing is just to just roughly measure the lower edge of this, um, of the entire width of this pattern piece. So this is right about at seven and a half inches. So three and three quarters is gonna be about the halfway mark. So um, just figure out whatever the halfway mark is. And <clears throat> after you've got the, those two marks, what we're gonna do is draw a gentle curve between these marks. So the skirt is gonna be straight along this middle, and then it's gonna just curve up here. Now this is where if you have a French curve, it will come in handy to make that curve, but what you do is just kind of line it up and um, you're gonna pretty much just connect these marks. So I've got this three quarter down here to the middle. Now when you get it out and you look at it, it's just a nice little curved edge. You can see that along there. And so now I'm gonna just cut that little kind of triangular curve off of, off of this. And this is gonna be my new pattern piece.
Now, this is what you can use. Of course, this is on the fold, but this is gonna be what you can use to make your front and your back romper. So what you've done to the front, you need to take it due to the back romper piece, and then you can follow the instructions on the PDF as far as how to do the hems and everything else on this. Of course, you're gonna to have to go to the other, um, to either your pattern instructions or to the other blog instructions for everything about making the top part of the garment. But this is what you do um, to make the hem and to make it um, just the right curve. So good luck, I hope to see what you make.